Well, now to more on the holiday travel rush. As Thanksgiving week begins, some parts of the country already are dealing with wintry weather. It comes as AAA predicts record road travel, and the FAA is preparing for a surge of planes in the air. ABC's Perry Russell is in Washington with those details. This morning, the start of Thanksgiving week travel hit by severe weather. A snowstorm leaving thousands without power in northeastern Pennsylvania. We were stuck in the, the snow for a couple hours. Record rain and snow in northern California. A call came in from a person who saw a car bobbing in the water. Today, heavy snow in the west and rain in the Great Lakes. By tomorrow, that snow makes its way into the Rockies. The I-95 corridor on the east coast is lined with rain. Better driving additions for the Midwest and East Coast on Wednesday. It comes as AAA is predicting there will be 1.7 million more drivers on the road this year compared to last year. This is the time of year when most people travel. So already you're comparing a very high number from last year. TSA is preparing for the more than 50,000 flights tomorrow. To help with the surge of planes, the FAA is opening military airspace off the East Coast and Gulf of Mexico. The FAA also facing a shortage of air traffic controllers. We will use traffic flow management initiatives to deal with any staffing shortages on that particular day in this airspace, and we expect to have some of those shortages. It comes as there's a spike in car thefts at airport parking lots across the country. In Atlanta, more than 300 vehicles were stolen at its main airport this year, compared to 95 for all of last year. ABC's Faith Abube is there. Here at the Atlanta airport, officials tell us they've increased parking staff, surveillance cameras, and police patrols. And also more than two dozen officers have now been certified to use tire deflation spikes to stop stolen vehicles from leaving this property. Police say there's a crime ring hitting airports across the south and west. They are reprogramming key fobs, stealing the cars, then driving them to Mexico to be sold. Perry Russom, ABC News, Washington.